is welcome to tableau tutorials and tips okay so today we are going to discuss about context context filters in tableau so now i am going to use new tableau workbook okay so in this workbook so uh, i want to see uh, see i kept category subcategory and sales if you see Furniture wise, we see subcategories and sum of sales. Similarly, for other two categories, we see. Okay, so uh, now, okay, if I use <coughs> now, I want to see top five sales by category wise, subcategory top five sales. I want to see. So for that, what I am going to do, I am going to use subcategory top 5. See, now we see top 5 sales by category and subcategory. So here, if you observe what it is doing, it is doing, it is, uh, the filter is like uh, searching, uh, searching backend data, okay. So the whole table is searching if you see here now this is the whole table so when you want to see a five <coughs> top five sales by subcategory and category so the filter is checking all these table values and from this these values from all these 17 rows it is getting top five rows if you see in dashboard <coughs> it will be clear see for example uh, this is our uh, data set okay so from this we want top five sales by category and subcategory wise okay see <clears throat> if you see here we used subcategory as a filter with the top five sales if you observe top five it is these five values are coming from this table so that's why we see chairs tables binder stories phones for three, three categories <clears throat> now my requirement is okay <clears throat> when i select okay technology when i select furniture i want to see top five sales okay when i select office and suppliers i want to see top five sales from whatever data we have Okay, from that data, we want to see top five sales. Also, when I select technology, we want to see top five sales. Similarly, if you do any combination, I want to see top five sales. Okay, so that is our requirement now. So now, what I am going to do, <coughs> and also one more, uh, one more thing, when you select individual category, I want to see furniture wise top five sales. Office suppliers wise, top five sales. Technology wise, top five sales. Okay. So to achieve that, we need context filter. Okay. So what I am doing. So now the similar report I copy, I duplicated. Okay. And uh, now uh, you see top five sales, which is coming from the table. That is uh, this one. So what I am going to do, I am going to apply context to category field. Okay. See now what is happening? Category. So category is holding all three values. Okay. So which is a dependent filter on subcategory. Okay. So subcategory is depend on category. Okay. So in this way, this context filter works. For example, what is happening in the back end for category, it is holding three subcategories. So all these subcategories values are storing in, in the subcategory field now. So what it will do now, if you do, if you select this one, okay. Now you see five values. For office supplies, you see five values. So what it is doing? virtually it is going to create a table okay so that is category subcategory sales so that table looks like this see now 
when you select office suppliers so when you use complex uh, when you use context filter so what it will do context category context filter it is going to hold office suppliers and along whatever values is having office suppliers that subcategory field holding those values so when we use context filter it is not going to hit the database because it is holds it holds this table structure so along with the values so now what it will do it, uh, the context filter uh, this top top five values going to search in this table for this category so from that data it is going to display top five sales similarly if you do technology it will do the same way it will search if you do furniture it will do in the same way and you may get doubt if you select two combinations even though if we get if we get two combinations what will happen it is going to hold like the whole data it is going to hold so now we selected two so what it will do it is going to uh, it is going to search in this data so from this data we are going to get top five sales so if you see here now top five sales are if you see chairs tables bookcases storages vendors if you see chairs so we have furniture and office supplies so book uh, bookcase uh, sorry chairs we have 328 and tables we have 206 and storage we have second highest value 223 and book uh, and uh, binders we have 203413 bookcases 114 so from this whole data it is going to display top five sales so it means it is not going to hit the database so internally it is creating a table so instead of hitting the database it is hitting this table and from this table it is going to display top five values so so finally i want to say uh, this context filter is increase performance of the report because it is not going to hit the database okay when we use uh, uh, a field as a contact filter so that's why the performance will be uh, good compared to normal filters Yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please comment and uh, please watch, please uh, like and share and also do subscribe. Thank you guys.